You know, I usually expect something cool with extras, like concept art, beta footage, stuff like that. Instead, I'm getting advertisements. Mmm, yum. What is up, everybody? Digging up Cole here. Welcome to the best SpongeBob game ever made. Welcome to Bikini Bottom. The place where robots will kill us all. Look at me, I'm jumping on the bed. I'm such a rebel. Oh. Now that's rebellious. Of course, of all things, SpongeBob has a library. I'm gonna assume it's solely dedicated to comic books and fry cooking manuals, because that would make me happy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you a physics engine. That was like the best not actually slow motion, slow motion scene I've ever seen in my life. Oh no, I'm under a time limit. You know what happens when that timer runs out? The world explodes. This is a golden spatula, which just happens to be floating in your room of the same pants eight times. SpongeBob's got some very unique fashion sense. Let's enter Patrick's rock. I've always wanted to do this and I've done it before. I love Patrick's house. He's got a lot going on here with his 1920s gramophone. I broke your couch, Patrick. Patrick, I'm sorry. How much am I gonna have to pay? Absolutely nothing, it costs nothing? Okay. Bubble buddy! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Tears off his own arm. I think I went a little far with that one. I like that an actual thing you have to do to get a golden spatula or a sock from Squidward is smash all of his stuff and give him a mustache. If you wanna get a golden spatula, here's an MLG pro tip, annoy Squidward. Squidward, why aren't you wearing pants? Why was there a pair of golden underwear on top of Squidward's house? I think some questions are better left unanswered. Geronimo! SpongeBob then broke his legs and died. The end, game over. We're all done here, bye. I fed the clam money and it dropped a bridge from a plane. I'm actually pretty satisfied with my purchase. 10 out of 10, game of the year, best advice, best game of 2016, 2017, and every year after. Because all the boxes have faces and the robots may be sentient, I'm feeling really bad about attacking anything, so I need to find an easier way to get a bunch of these weird shiny objects. I think this game has cheats. Let's do this thing. All right, now I have 13,000 shiny objects. I may have overdone it a little bit, a whole lot. I had a chance to escape that death, and I didn't. I don't like that these crates stare at me. They're like, we watch you while you sleep. You're mean, why are you doing that? Stop it. My thoughts exactly, except, you know, not as, not as eloquently stated. Wow, Mermaid Man, I have all your comics and toys and mail. I like how Mermaid Man just turned around. Not Oh my god, he won't look at me. Mermaid Man just refuses to look at me. Could you stop turning so I can look at your magnificent mustache? Ooh, flaming things. You know, I think you should touch them. That sounds like a grandiose idea. I has a watermelon. I wonder what this does. You said that after it happened. You're like me and all my videos before I edit them. I mean, my delivery is perfect. What are you talking about? Ironically, I'm gonna have to do that twice. Whee! I drown Patrick. Yes, just yes. That forever, please. A valuable YouTube lesson that I think anybody will learn unless they're a big YouTuber is to never check your analytics. That's a terrible piece of advice if you want to genuinely grow your channel, but if you want to avoid being depressed, that's the best bit of advice I can ever give. Clearly, I'm not so good with the advice. Hey, truth or dare, I pick truth. Okay, what do you think about Truth or Dare? I think it's a ridiculous game. Oh look, jellyfish jelly, the strangely ironic way to cure a jellyfish thing. John. See, no. Ba, ba, da, ba. Ba, ba, da, ba. I'm about one year late to that joke. Everybody, why? Why does everybody look away from me? Even my best friend is ignoring me. Jellyfish, will you ignore me? No, you're my friend, jellyfish. You're my. <laughs> 